Hello and welcome to Whiskey Resource. My name is Mark. This is review number 90, second review of 2021. Today I'm going to be doing a review of whiskey that was kindly supplied to me by my friend Tom at Drama War is his Twitter handle. Tom supplied um, a few uh, whiskey samples to me over the last few months and this is one um, that he kindly supplied back during the summer. A bit of water there. Okay so Today is going to be my second Bimba review. This is the, the bottle he sent me. It uh, doesn't say where it is, but this is the Bimba Peat Cask Number no. 1, which was released during the summer. Uh, natural colour, non chill filtered. Retails, retailed, because it's no longer available, but retailed for an average price of £74.95 and bottled at a strength of 54.1% ABV. Um, this is the, the third Bimba that I've ever had. Um, I've only reviewed one so far, which was the ex bourbon cask, which was a sample provided by the Summit and Whiskey Festival. I, um, I was a participant of, like a great many people who um, bought the dram packs. And totally good session it was as well. <clears throat> so this is the Peter cask. He actually sent me um, two samples of it, of which this is the, the second. And I've had a tiny bit out of this one. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. So Bimba, popular, is an understatement. A lot of the Bimba bottles end up going on auction because it's um, very, very popular. And because it's very small batches that they're doing, um, anywhere between maybe 260 bottles for the cask strength offerings, right the way up to maybe um, 1750 in the case of this particular peated cask. So it's a limited edition, uh, but they are putting out bottles at a rate of knots. And um, it's good to see people like Tom sharing, um, whilst there are others that are maybe um, flipping, which I'm not going to go into whether that's right or wrong. Um, but, you know, whiskey's there to be drunk and enjoyed and shared. So um, onwards and upwards to the tasting. So on the nose, what we're getting? Well, I'm getting that, um, I'm going to call it the chocolate funk that I get off Bimba and Westland. It's a lovely chocolate funk, I do enjoy that. But beneath that, it's sweet. A bit of citrus notes going on there. Vanilla. I'm going to say that that funk note I'm getting is a chocolate vanilla because the, the two, the chocolate notes and the vanilla notes are kind of intertwined providing that kind of creamy depth that this is given in terms of peat I don't think I'm getting any smoke Maybe the very slightest of touches, very slightly touches. But this was um, distilled and um, matured initially in a first fill ex bourbon cask before it was then finished in um, quarter casks that previously held a peated Islay single malt. So the, the peat influence is indirect, it's not like it's um, peat smoked malted barley it's cask influence but it's a very very subtle influence that's providing on the palate mm. The texture is velvety. It's just lovely. I'm going to go to the finish, which is peppery. But it's not particularly bitter peppery. Well, I say I'm getting a bit of coffee bean, maybe. It's not overly bitter. And there's a whiff of 
that smoke there, which I'm glad to feel on the finish. It starts off, as I say, um, velvety, a silky, um, oily texture, sweet, maybe honey sweet. There's that citrus note coming through, but there's also another fruit kicking off going in, kicking off there. I'm not sure quite how you describe it. I have read people say it's peach, but no, I'm not getting peach. It's It's closer to maybe a berry, something like a, maybe a gooseberry that's stayed in a damp paper bag or, or, or a damp cardboard box and some of that damp cardboard paper has imparted some degree of influence over the fruit. But the, the fruit, if it's gooseberry that I think I'm getting it's very subtle it's it's more dominant by the, the citrus of the lemons and then you get that that um, vanilla milk chocolate a funk note just running straight from start to the finish where it gives over to maybe just a touch of smoke which actually is building more now as I talk and allow air to start to fill my mouth yeah a bit, bit of a bit of smoke clicking off there I've added a little bit of water in there a bit more than I wanted to do but let's bring out more bourbon on the nose more citrus and vanilla a bit more oak maybe And on the palette, it's toned down that fieriness, pepperiness on the finish. That milk chocolate vanilla funk has disappeared. It's just vanilla, a citrus, a bit of malt, a bit of cardboard. But yeah, that smoke is there. I wouldn't say I'm getting peat. I'm getting more smoke than peat. How does it compare to the ex-bourbon cask? I prefer the ex-bourbon. And the third the third one, which I haven't reviewed yet, which I've got a bottle of, is the uh, Richard cask, which I'm loving. Absolutely adoring that whiskey. And I will do a review of it at some point. But this isn't as good as the Richard. I think of the three, the Richard, for me, because I have more time with it, I've been able to experience the drams at my own leisure rather than samples, which isn't quite enough to get, I suppose, to get a no whiskey truly. It can give you the initial impressions, which is a, a good indicator as to whether you should buy. And don't get me wrong, this is a very enjoyable dram, but not as good as the ex bourbon and not as good as the um, recharge. Of course, it's completely out of stock unless you go online to a uh, auction house where you'd end up paying two, three, four times as much money for it. Uh, but if you're a collector of the bottles and you do intend to drink them, then great. But uh, maybe consider joining the Bimba Club if they're still accepting exceptions of uh, admissions, even. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's not. It's not as good as the other two, but it's still a thoroughly enjoyable um, and tasty dram. And if you get the opportunity to try it, give it a go. It's well worth it. But don't add water. The ABV 54.1 um, can cope without any water. It, it's not too hot. It's not too aggressive. If you do add water, just gradually, gradually drop it down. That's it, review uh, 90, uh, not too long till I hit the 100, oh, there it is.